Expresso art is in fact impressionism. Because at the speed that I work at, there's no way I can go to ultra realism. Having said that, people say to me, oh, it looks so real, it's like a photograph. But in fact, it's nothing like a photograph. I do not paint photographically. If you look at the detail of this material, you can see that it's merely a few paint strokes. And at this closeness, when you're painting this, you do have to have confidence that, hey, when I stand back, it's going to look nothing like this. So when you do, in fact, stand back at the viewing distance, people suddenly think, oh, you've, you've, you've created some kind of material there that's, that's very flimsy and transparent, and it looks very effective. So in this particular painting, once again, I've used graffiti to add some texture to this hat. The eyebrows have been scraped to give the impression of strands of hair. The scraping on the hair and when you stand back, you can see the total variation that res results. So this particular painting has been painted purely with the Zorn palette. Uh, titanium white, yellow ochre, spectrum red and ivory black nothing else that greeny yellowy look of the eyes is from that palette and you get all these various colors by simply mixing black essentially the black the red and the yellow ochre in varying degrees and then adding white to create the tone that you want. So what is tone? Tone is far more important than, than color to determine the success of your painting. To properly see the tones of your painting, you should look at it in, uh, in black and white. You could take a picture of your painting and use some application to make a black and white copy so you can see the various shades of greys and that that is the tonal map so tone is is the relative darkness as it were the contrast the contrast you get when you're looking at it in black and white Adding colour makes the understanding of tone a bit different. Red can be a whole range of different tones and you can think of it really as, as the brightness of the colour. It's not quite that. And the only way to really understand the tone is to look at a black and white or a grey scale image of your picture. 
So to to eliminate any any uh, any technical discussions, what I'm looking for in in a subject is lots of contrast because it's contrast that makes a subject interesting. If everything is all round about the same tone, then it's extremely boring. Contrast is when you see a differentiation between colors, the dark, the light, the contrast between the two is what makes it exciting. Highlights make things exciting. The highlights here, the highlights here, the contrast of the highlight to the shadow. Highlights along the top of the lip, highlights on the lip. These are the things that are going to make your painting exciting or interesting.